then next year it's going to be like the big the big one that's what we yes. think so we are we're probably going to get more hires yeah more this, rounds. this year to us i think it felt a little bit like an experiment like all right let's test these out let's see how all these new people are including myself like, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's kind of a way to to test the boundaries of of what your characters can be and and how you guys can improve on them from there. I mean, I see it every yeah. year. I see it every year at all the haunts across the board. You see it at knots. You see it at you know every one that gives you the freedom to kind of create that character and that persona. It's now just yeah. the next level to what can I do better to bring on to that persona? Do I add sliding to it? Do I go stilt walking? Do I like? Do I do different props? Different look? Like how do we make this work? for uh 2.0 now because they loved 1.0 so how do we how do we take what we knew they loved and add to it so i always that's what i look forward to going to all these haunts to see how much character development people can come up with in, in within a year span i mean that's incredible i know with all the new um like scare zones we have this year you know it's very like with all the new hires that's in these new scare zones i'm really proud of like everyone's character development like they you know the way they created the, their characters to this to these new scare zones it's not it's not it's like different with all the scare zones that's already been there like um you know like the clowns for example so people already know like the just idea of what how to act and you know how to scare but with the new scare zones at fright fest this year i'm really proud with like everyone's like character development because you know they didn't have like a past like years of like um writing down notes on how to be this scare zone so honestly this year has been so great with all the the new hires and all the new things that came um next year it's gonna be a lot bigger because we already know like a bunch of people who are sliding like they're gonna be um trying out to be a slider trying out to be a stilt walker um a couple of maze people have already came up to me and they've already told me that they're um trying to be a slider or like a stilt walker or both so it's going to be very big next year. There's probably going to be more sliders. That's my um, prediction. Yeah, I think we're going to have a lot more sliders. A definitely. lot more including sliders. Us, including us. We'll be, yeah. we'll be sliding next year. So, we'll so. be sliding next year. Begs the million dollar question the audience wants to know, which was, with that being said, if, if we get what we, what we hope to get next year, is there a possibility that uh, you guys would want to create another slider show and bring that back to Six Flags this next year? Um, <laughs> we'll see. We um, there's a lot of there's talking about it. A lot it. of talks, but we're hoping for a lot it. of planning, a lot of meetings, definitely yeah. um, about it. Um, it's not with us. It's with the, the fighters that are there now. They're yeah. doing all the approvals, all the meetings for it. And we're all kind of just out here waiting for what's what the answer is. It's, but we do different. want it. Yes. Yes. We do yeah. want it. Everyone wants it. I think a couple of supervisors, I know they want it too. So fingers crossed we do get a show next year. We had a lot of guests come up to us and be like, Hey, so are you guys doing another uh, slider show this year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I even asked happening. the question because I was only going the one time, so I was like, I didn't want to miss it if it was happening. Um, and I know a few other people in the zone, so I, I went up before I even met you two, and I was like, "Yeah, hey, are they doing? Are they doing the show?" And he was like, "I I don't know, sadly not this year." But I was like, "It's all good." It seems like there's a lot of new blood out, kind of roaming around the streets, building characters, which I love to see. Um, it was it was really hard for me, you know, to be, um, you know, going into this to see how this was gonna happen. You know, I I when I first went, the first impression was the Exile Brothers, Green Clown. And no. tricks the trickster. You know what I mean? Like that was for me the like right there. Um so it was a little I was a little nervous going into this year, but I was also very excited because I knew since you know that talented group went elsewhere, a new group of talent that we're gonna bring something brand new to the game, we're gonna come in and really change that zone for the better. Um 
Not to mention that, you know, what the legacy these people left behind, you guys are carrying forth now, and you guys did a hell of a great job this first oh, year. So, thank you. you know, it was very nerve-wracking, for sure. Yeah. In the beginning. Yeah. Like, we, before, like, the first day, we had a, you know, me and Ben, me and Bam Bam, we had a talk, and we're like, okay, how are we going to do this? Like, they know, we know that people are going to come and expect you know, the pink, blue, green clown and tricks and the slider show. How are we going to how are we going to be like, they're not here, but hey, we're here. Like, right. you know, how are we yeah. going to show that? Um, and it it took a while to really get the the gist of it, like to get um, that the, the build up the confidence for it, because it was mostly like just nervous. Like we're just nervous about it, like the first two weekends. Yeah, we're. That was one thing I was always kind of stressed about every night because my whole thought was I want to bring back the atmosphere that I used to have when I went to Fright Fest back in like 2013 days as a guest mm -hmm. ever since I was a kid. Yeah. So. The prime years back in the day. The and, um, it was just. It, you know, it's it's been it's been something because we 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 you know, we had the pandemic. We come back from the pandemic and, you know, yeah. Fright Fest is back, but I don't think it was back to its full capacity, but the energy was definitely there. Um, yeah. And, and then you come back in 2022 with kind of a more uh, post, you know, COVID world that we live in now. And yeah. it, it just, the energy just felt different like this year. And I'm going, that's going for everywhere I went to across the board. I mean, the energy just felt different. Like it felt like people were normal again. You know, it was, it was. The last couple yeah. of years having to go under restrictions and whatnot, and it actually felt like people were just normal again. I mean, you know, seeing you guys perform and, and just kind of seeing you guys do your thing. I mean, you know what they say as a scare actor, if you can't scare them, entertain them. And if you can't entertain them, entertain yourself. So Exactly. Yeah, that's basically – I mean, that's honestly my favorite part is – it's like we're we're like entertaining these people, making them laugh or like scaring them and everything. But like honestly, my favorite part about my job and do, going to Fright Fest and being with the clowns is making each other laugh. We're actually entertaining each other. Okay. Um, you know, like we would like do like a little scare slash like clown thing, and then I I you know I go up to Bam Bam or you know, Rick Rack or Peaches, I'd be like, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Oh, that was funny. And I'm like, you know, we would, it's just, it was like, honestly, that's the best part. It was entertaining ourselves. It was entertaining each other. Like we were just like, tr I think we were trying to make each other laugh. Oh, we were, we definitely and, were. It's yeah, we were trying to make each other laugh. It was so funny. It's just like, we're not even trying to make the guests laugh. It's like sometimes in our heads, like, you know what? I'm going to try to make the, the you know, bam bam or like yeah. jinx we're gonna try to make them laugh and then um it's like and then they do sometimes and it's just like oh, oh, rewarding for sure oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. we'll I, break uh, you know that's the thing i loved about you two and 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 that was kind of like the first impression it's usually how you like you guys said how are we going to hook these people back how are we going to bring them back but keep the continuity of what's already happened but in, in include our include ourselves in that in that storyline and i think you guys did a fantastic job doing that i mean i walk <laughs> into the zone i see this to me because everyone's just you know don't take it personal everyone's just tiny to me because i'm like six foot six <laughs> so i walk into the zone and i see this tiny girl with a yellow mallet dressed all in yellow and everything and i'm just like she's new okay i turn <laughs> to the right and i see bam there and i'm just like He's giving me some rock star vibes. Okay, that's new. I haven't seen that. All right, I'm I'm entertained. You got me hooked in. So I I mean I'll be honest with you, and I and I and I hate to say it, but that's probably my my favorite zone because I just you don't know what's gonna happen on a night tonight. Like you're afraid yeah. if you leave, you're gonna miss something. Oh it's yeah, one of those zones. It just is. You always miss something. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like we get like um, our friends to come as a guest and then they go visit Dead Zone or something and then they come back. I'm like, you just missed it. We just like chased this entire like crowd. We took their stuffed toys. We took their churros and, oh, yeah. and like, you missed it. Like, <laughs> should have been here for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll never know with the clowns. Just, you'll never know what's going to happen. Next. That's the fun part. I mean, I think anywhere you go with clowns, you know, you're yeah. going to expect something hilarious. Once yeah, I got my 
Once I got my hands on Nate's air cannon, everything was so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that thing's amazing. The blue yeah. clown. So, bam, the first thing I said to you um, when I when we started talking in the zone was a joke about an ex-wife. Correct. Um, and from what I've been hearing, you've been carrying on that legacy. How has that been for you to carry on? Uh, that legacy you legacy? know, it's it's. I've been getting a lot of good reactions with that one. And then some people have been taking it way too far, like texting me. It's like, hey, I'm your ex-wife. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. But it was fun to use. I tried not to use it a lot because I, I don't want to completely take it from Nate. Right. Because that's Nate's thing. But I used it a couple times, and I always got funny reactions out of it. So that that joke's always nice to use. <laughs> the legacy lives on right there. The legacy, the legacy lives on. It's all uh, tribute. It's all tribute right there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Queenie, uh, you must feel a little special too because um, to my understanding, Trix was one of the first female sliders to, you know, do it at Magic Mountain. So you trying to follow those footsteps, that's pretty historical right there because hey, that's, um, that that increases the number of female sliders over at Six Flags. And that's kind of starting like a, a whole like let's get women to slide revolution because I we need more yes. women out there sliding. We need mm -hmm. more female sliders. That's yeah. all there is. We do need, yeah. a, and, um, it makes me happy to see that, you know, like I get, like I actually had this, like, um, she, I think she was 14. She was a guest. She came up to me. She's like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to practice sliding, like, you know, like during my Thanksgiving break. And I'm like, all right. You know, she's like, yeah, yeah you do that. You know, like, it's just awesome. Like tricks. Um, she's my number one role model and she knows this. Oh. Um, I literally look up to her. Um, I remember when I was uh, in a maze back in 2018, I would see her in the lockers. I'd see her like passing by and then I'd just be like, oh, it's Trix, it's Trix. Oh. And I get like really nervous. And then one time I said, hi, just said hi. I was like, hi. And she was like, hi, you know? And I was like, oh God, she noticed me. So I've, I've been such a fan and um to be a good like to be her friend now and to you know like i would like text her about advice tips like if i had a really bad night when it comes to like guests and like all the abuse that we get i would always go to her um and to get advice from her it's really tips and tricks <laughs> yeah basically i would message her and like after like i would make sure she gets off like a horror nights and her shift at horror nights and message her about you know to be you know message her about like advice and stuff and right. um to be able to have that friendship with her it's just like i feel so happy and i want to be a slider like her i want to you know actually my audition um i i remember my, when I auditioned last year to be um, to be a walk around, she was in my group actually, and oh, awesome. I got to see her clown audition. And I was like, this year when I auditioned this year, I I tried to like remember like what did what did Serena do last year? What did Serena do last year? And um and then I was like, okay, I think I got it. I think I got like the like you know I'm gonna try to like mimic it. I'm trying to follow it. And then there we go. So it it worked. <laughs> That's it awesome. Worked. Trix yes. is such a a, a a beautiful soul and and just uh, overall yes. a great friend and and what she's yeah. done in in the sliding game and in the haunt world is is uh, won't go unforgotten for sure. Yeah, oh, definitely. She inspired me to be a walk around and to be a slider. Now mm -hmm. it's everything. She's my she's literally a number one for me. Oh, you hear that, Trix? <laughs> you watching? <laughs> I know you are. I know you're watching. You're watching. She's watching. Hi, I'm like hi. So, uh, what what's what's fun about this show is I like to usually dive deep into the person uh, behind the character. I like to dive deep of when they when they got started, when they when they first spoke, uh, sparked an interest into the into the business and whatnot. Um, so bam, let's start with you. What, what was the first year you actually uh, got into like the haunt game and whatnot? And what inspired you to want to become a scare actor? Okay. So actually I've always wanted to be in the haunt game since I was like 12, 13, I've always wanted to do it. And then by the time I turned like 18, I completely forgot about it. Then I met Anne in 2020 
and uh, we started dating, and I found out she was a scare actor because she I saw her maze award. I was <laughs> like, what's that? And she goes, oh, yeah, she goes, uh, yeah, this is my maze award. I got scare actor of the year for my maze. I was like, wait, you do haunts? And she's like, yeah. And so from there, uh, last year uh, was our first year to do it because we were going to do it 2020, but pandemic, nothing was happening. Right. So 2021 was my first year, and I started out in a maze. Red's Revenge, represent. There it is. Red's Revenge. The humble the beginning. Fun. That was the final year. I got to end that maze. Uh, so, yeah, that was a good experience, honestly, being in the maze. I'm glad I did it, even though the entire year in that maze, I'm like, oh, I just want to be out there already. I want to run around. It was still a good experience for me. Uh, I enjoyed it. And then I actually got the Maze Award for yeah. that year. Look at the Reds. It all so, came full circle for you, my friend. <laughs> and then uh, this year was my first year as a walk around. And I was very lucky enough to be a clown. Extremely lucky. <laughs> the DC universe. In the DC universe. Mm -hmm. Because I actually, uh, I originally wanted to be a demon at Demon Store, which I found out the day before auditions that they got rid of. So it made me completely think, what's my audition going to be now? <laughs> so uh, I still auditioned as a demon, but I somehow got clown. I guess it was because of my, uh, me being really loud and my energy. I was... Uh, my face, you could tell I was just not me. I was a different thing. Oh, I, so I, I definitely see that right now. I was like, <laughs> who is this person? Who is Bam? Like, this is, <laughs> it's the personas, man. It's like Split, man. You, it's just a switch you could yeah. turn off and on. I know. I've been there. <laughs> um, But, yeah. And then being a clown this year, I mean, I knew I was lucky the entire year, and I'd felt blessed about it. Like, it was my dream after all these years of wanting to do it to you're finally a clown. Right. Insta instantly, which a lot of people don't get. And so I'm really humble about it and I love it. Uh, but And then my look was all rocker vibes. I was like, oh, this is exactly me. So <laughs> I think I'm perfect with it. Um, There's the same. Bam Bam and Bam, um, Ben are the same. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get the, my main look, the star look, until like second to last weekend of uh, September. So like maybe two, two three weeks in. Uh, I, look. I think you did. I think I had my star at that time, I think which I was very like, happy We came in like October because they postponed the media night. And so they were like, just pick a night. That's and right. Come out. Yeah. yeah, I definitely had my star in October. Um, that was fun. Yeah, that's my favorite look. I was so happy for my amazing uh, makeup artist. Was there, at, kiss, was there a little? Was there a little kiss inspiration there? Uh, for me, I felt like that. So she actually was like, "Hey, let's do a star," and uh, I was like, "Actually, that's what I've wanted, but I never want to tell her what to do because I trust her completely. Right? I want her to do her look on me, and then from there on, we just started doing the star. So. Yeah, it was like, definitely fuck it. Detroit Rock City, huh? I like, yeah, fuck it. I'll go with the Paul Stanley look. There you go. Which I love it. Um, awesome. But yeah, just acting like a rocker. Messing around, clowning around the usual funny business. Oh, yeah. I got to and see then, some of it. It was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It, it was a great year for me. And then oh, next year, we plan to come back. So you, you will you, probably see Bam Bam and Queenie again. You'll see I, already us. Got your, I already got your sticker idea, Bam Bam. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited Bam to hear Bam Bam, third time's a charm. And you kind of go oh. like that. Oh, yeah. You need to have <laughs> <laughs> All right. Definitely. With the star showing. Oh, yeah. That needs to we'll get that. Talk to our Gotta digital artist. <laughs> Gotta talk to we'll it. We'll get that.
<laughs> we'll get oh, that man. going. That's awesome. 20. I mean, the way the way you got in back into it was through your your girlfriend. That's awesome. I know. It, that that, that was awesome. one of the things. That was one of the things I was really like fascinated about her. And she she was always nervous. She was like, "Oh, I just think that people would think it's weird," but to me, it's like that's the most awesome thing ever. What the fuck? That's exactly told me. why me and my girlfriend are together because we love haunts. Yeah, it's, there we go. It's a thing. It really is. I'm, hot, I'm just saying, hot couples. There's nothing like it. Mm-hmm. They're not. I mean, they want to literally do everything that you want to do, and then they're 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 geeky and nerdy on the side, and it's just like. Exactly. It's it getting better and better and better. Like me and my girlfriend just straight up playing Fall Guys the other night. I was like, "This is great. This is the best." <laughs> That's awesome. You know yeah, I mean? we were we were even lucky to be in the same scare zone because yeah. usually they don't do that. And they don't do that. I mean, I think they understood we kept it very professional last year. Like we always do. We're very professional. We just want to be there and do our thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. I mean, you guys, the the toughest thing about your zone, but also the more freedom that you guys have to do with the zone is, you guys are more in uh more bright lights, kind of like how Cody yeah. is over at Not Scary Farm. So your guys' job is yeah, uh, but I will say this: you guys have like the really good prosthetics and the makeup and whatnot. So like a lot of people just immediately look at you and go, like they don't they either oh, yeah. react really scared, yeah. they're surprised, or they just start laughing, or they immediately want to take a selfie with you. I've been there. Oh, yeah. I've seen the nights. I, I I trust me. You don't even have to preach that to me. I understand your pain completely. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I mean, on an average, oh, I'm gonna ask this question then, Queenie. I want to hear your story. On an average, between you two, I you guys probably won't even know. You probably don't even count. But like around. Estimate how many freaking selfies did you take a night? The on average, oh, uh, <laughs> you go first. I want to say like fifteen to twenty average. Really? On a yeah, night and everything. Yeah, I think I think that was honestly if you caught me on a good night. Yeah. There were some night. I think the lowest I took in one night was two or three. I, yeah, some nights, most part, I was ha- I was okay with it, but some nights I was just not having it. <laughs> it's like, I just want to do my job. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Honestly, you- like me, I feel like, yeah, like 30 minimum. Oh, wow. Minimum. Um, wow. I was like, I, I, I try to say no. Um, When it's busy, of course, I say no. I just go, I do like the uh-uh, and I just like walk away. But yes. they chase they chase me down like oh yeah they they chase us they chase us down they never leave us alone about it so it's like all right um so but we kind of like kind of give like an attitude like all right hurry up but like that you know it's like we try to like okay you know like trust but it yeah a lot with me for sure and i shouldn't but it's like they they just never they just never leave us alone. So oh, yeah, they which don't. We, we, we don't mind. We I mean there's times when like you know when it's busy. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, like just know like oh they're busy right now like they're scary like they, we shouldn't bother them. But you know like when it's like not busy, of course come up to us. We'll take like yeah. Copies. Yeah, that's the thing. It's always right at the beginning. Like we just got unleashed. We're all trying to get everyone that's there in the crowd and yeah. hey, take a selfie take a selfie and i'm like oh, oh no I'm, move get out of the way <laughs> yeah get out of the way get out of the way get out of my way <laughs> I yeah. just, quick, if i were you i just hold up the hammer like thor and just charge through people i know <laughs> one time i got i guess a, fo- a, a phone from my guest because she was like non-stop asking me questions i actually took it and put it on the floor and i was like pretending to smash it with my hammer <laughs> it was, that was like Oh, and I, I I remember looking up. I'm like, is my supervisor around? I don't know. If I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> but See, the guests are just laughing. I'd be, you know, you, you can't give me a hammer at a DC park because I'd be making Marvel <laughs> jokes left and right, and then then making jokes <laughs> even further. Like you we're gonna get sued. I I kind of was making a little bit because I would take her hammer from now on because it was kind of heavy. Not gonna it lie. Is heavy. After, after carrying it for like 20 minutes, you're like, oh wow, this thing's just actually got some weight. 
Yeah. Um, I would I would be walking around with it. Oh, the mighty Thor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mighty Thor. I'm like, oh wait, wait, wrong theme park. <laughs> wrong theme park. Ooh. I'd be like, that's up the five freeway there, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, it's about an hour, hour and a half that way. <laughs> hour and a half the other way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, that's the thing I love about you guys. You guys have the freedom to kind of improv that and, and whatnot. Um, Quinny, from what I'm hearing, it sounds like you're the veteran behind all this, so I got to hear your story. Where did it all start for you, and, and, and oh. where, when did you start getting into Haunt? Getting into Haunt, um, when I – so I'm an immigrant. I moved to the U.S. when I was eight. And uh, when I moved here, my mom, she would teach me, like – all the things that we didn't have back in my country, which haunts. We don't really have haunts in my country. I'm from the Philippines, so we don't have it there. Um, here, when I got here, and it was like the first Halloween, she was like, let me tell you about um, Halloween in America. you know." And then she took me to my first haunt. I was eight. She took me to Horror Nights. Oh, like she was like, okay, yeah. we're going to Horror Nights. And I remember that time that was still like R-rated. Like they had like this like R-rated Waterworld show and everyone was kind of half naked. Like it was it was not a place for kids. <laughs> it was not a place for kids. But oh, my yeah. mom, she's like, Halloween in America is the best. Like it's because of these haunts. And she was like, she she took me to Horror Nights. Um, it was like Freddy. I got to see the Freddy, the Jason Maze, like b- back in the day. And then it was like every year, it was like every year, like going to horror nights. And then, um, but then she did tell me, she's like, you know what? I know you like horror nights, but um, Knots was the original for this. So she was like giving me these like, like facts, like, oh no, like Knots, that's where they have these like people that slide on the floor. So my mom was educating me about like haunts and like telling me all these things. And I was like, I was like so into it. And I, I did honestly with a side of the pandemic year 2020, I never missed like a year of like horror nights. I always went since I was like eight. Wow. So it was like never missed a, like a year of horror nights. And I just love like from there, I just love haunts. And then when I was um, senior year in high school, um, I auditioned for horror nights by myself, signed up. I was 18 and um, I drove myself there. and. Um, I got there and like, you know, people were, um, that's, like, there was a lot of veterans, like veterans, scare actors, and it scared little tiny me. And I was like, oh. And then I sat um, next to a girl who had like a portfolio, she had headshots. And then she was like, it's your first time, isn't it? And I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, I've been doing horror nights for three years, you know, no, no big deal. And I was like, oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, last month I was in a like a Petco commercial and I was like, OK, like these are actors, you know, and, <laughs> and I was like, these are I'm like senior me. I was senior year like I was high school, like everyone had portfolios and veterans and horror nights. Um, so I, I did, with, by the way, I would have messed with her real quick. I would have been like, I, I was in the school newspaper last month. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, well, I was, I'm in drama club. And, <laughs> you know, I know but, acting stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm in, you know, I'm in the yearbook, you know, <laughs> I know I like, I'm there. Page 54. I'm in there. But, um, no, it was, so I, my first year auditioning for haunt was for horror nights, 2015, I went in there at the Sheraton. Uh, I think it was. I think it was at the Sheraton Universal, and then, you know, like we went in this ballroom. I'm pretty sure that you know, like the story of like the auditions for Horror ballroom, Nights. It's like yeah. there's like a ballroom, and there's like 30 people that they called in, and it's like um, the veterans, like most of them, and then John Murdy sitting in the middle. The so I did my audition. Um, I did like an exorcism because exorcist is like the most scariest movie for me so i was like you know what i'm gonna do that exorcism so i started doing an exorcism on the ground and i was like doing this back bend that i was like trying to learn the night before <laughs> but <laughs> i was trying to do a back bend and everything but Learned it all right then and there gymnastics just came the out night before right yeah i did yoga the night the morning mm-hmm. of um Let the demons out of you <laughs> exactly 
after auditions, um, they I actually passed the audition process, which was very rewarding for me. I actually, you know, my number got called in. Like, hey, if your number gets called in, you're you pass the audition process. We're gonna have you measured, and I passed the audition process that time. So I was like, wow, this for first like first time, I I did it. Like I passed the audition process, but that year, you know, like I didn't get a role. I waited three weeks for a call that if, if I got a role or not, I didn't unfortunately get a role. So that would have been my first year in haunts, but I didn't get a role. And and I was really sad. Like I went to Horror Nights that year with my friends and I was like crying. And I was like, I, I could have been working by now. You know, like I could have been working here. But many years later, I saw an ad on um, for Fright Fest and I, I lived like far at that time. Like I know I live closer to Fright Fest, I'm into Six Flags, but at that time, I lived far, so I like I was debating like, should I go to these auditions for Fright Fest? So it was 2018. I I I went. Um, I didn't audition because I saw when you go to auditions for Fright Fest, you get to like hear them in the back right. do their auditions, and everyone was like doing this like like the screeching like ah like you know, and I'm just like. That's what auditions is like, like here and like I'm ready. Like I didn't, I didn't practice last night. I didn't practice. I didn't did. I didn't do yoga this morning, so I can't. I can't do this. Signed up for a maze. I was in aftermath 2018. That was a fun year, <laughs> definitely. I made a lot of good friends there, um, including um, Donovan Lovejoy, which is Blonde Jenkins. Like he's the rat in Carnival. He's like my best friend. I met him 2018. And then 2019, um, back to mazes. The reason why I was back to mazes and I didn't audition to be a walk around is I was just, I was busy. Like I was, I just started college, like nursing and I was like getting, I was tired a lot. And I knew that being a walk around was going to be too much. And like, you know, maze is like relaxed, laid back. So I was like, okay, I'll just sign up for a maze. But it was a lot of just like, doubts like i don't think i'll be good enough because 2019 all the walk arounds that year i think they were just phenomenal like every single one and i was like very insecure auditioning 2019 to go against like these really talented people so i was kind of yeah it was insecurities it was a lot of things that drew me back wow. and was like you know what another year in mazes but then a couple of people in 2020 or 2021, I should say, messaged me and they're like, Anne, I know you. You're going to go back to mazes, but you're not. You're not going back to mazes. You're going to you're going to audition this year because um, in 2021, when I was in Willoughby's, it was actually I was in Willoughby's in 2021. Um, I no, won 2019. Oh, no, no. 2019. So, but 2019 in Willoughby's, I won the the Maze Award, nice. and the yeah. So, um, like people were telling me, even the the people I was in the maze, they were like telling me that you know this right here, this means you're not going back to a maze. This means you're gonna audition for 20 like you know that the next year, right? Um. And I was like, yeah, I guess, you know, but yeah, it was just like that made actually that motivated me. Like, you know what? I'll audition to be a walk around. I might, I might pass this time as well. If I pass Horror Nights, I was like, I'll, I'll pass this one, I think. But yeah, so 2021 came around and I got my boyfriend to like to sign up with me, which was amazing. I was so excited. And then, yeah. I was placed in witch's lair. So that was my 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 scare zone. I was a witch in 2021. That's a fun one. Then, oh yeah, I, I miss it. I miss it. It was a good one. She she even got scare actor uh of the year out of all the walk arounds that year. Yeah, so wow. that was a big year for me because it was my first year as a walk around. And then I win this award at the end of the year. It was like a scare actor of the year. And I asked them, I'm like, is this for Witches Slayer? You know, is this award for Witches Slayer? And then they were like, no, 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 no. Like that's, that's, 
for all the walk arounds. You won it out of all the walk arounds. And I'm like, oh, oh wow, like that's insane. So I was like, I was really happy about that. And then great. this year I became a clown. I think the the award I got last year really kind of put me where I am this year. Like right. that's why I was probably in the clowns because of the award I got last year. Like I really worked hard for it. Yeah. And um, I think my supervisors like saw that, that like, you know, Anne really, really worked hard last year. Maybe she might be good with the clowns. So I think that's what I, that's what I think. Like, I I think they saw that, you know, I, I worked really hard last year and then I, that's how I ended up in the clowns this year. Back. Definitely. Back. What a, what a story to, Go full circle. Yeah, it's a long like, one. <laughs> no, that's a good one. Though. I mean, the the whole reasoning behind starting Nights of Horror was solely around the purpose of Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. And five years later, uh, we finally uh, worked our way up to getting invited out for press. Uh, yeah. So I I know I know exactly how that is. Just coming full circle as a fan to like getting into it to then finally getting doing it. it and then the hard work paying off like it's, i was it's, really it's happy to get the clowns this year um because when i auditioned the first thing i said to our my boss who was like the judge of the, the auditions i was like i was like mark where's where's witch's lair <laughs> like i was the first question he was like i know it's like he's like oh but i have a surprise for you like i i got i got a good zone for you and i was like it's like he was like can you guess can you guess what it is and i was like don't <laughs> like don't tell me it's is it is it siege you know like is it is it dc and he was like yep and you're gonna have a character this year you're gonna be you're gonna be tweak's sister or at that time it was tweak's daughter and like so i w i had a character they for they made a character for me yeah so i was like Wait, what come again he's like yeah you're gonna be like a family member of tweak so you're gonna be black and yellow we already got it down like we know what what, what you're gonna look like and i was like oh that's awesome because I, I got to know my character like so early on like i literally the day of uh, day of auditions i knew i had uh, my character which was and it was an honor it was such an honor to have that character you know because tweak was such a such an icon for a long time and to this day and like to be his sister is like it was very like it was very honorable but like very nerve-wracking as well the next generation be. yeah <laughs> that's it right there carrying on the family legacy yeah and right. it's, that's all a big family <laughs> yeah Oh man, that is an incredible story. Just to hear it come full circle for you, and and to oh, continue. And she's the I call her the Chicago Bulls of Fright Fest because she also won this year for the Clowns the award. So I call her the three <laughs> Pete goat. Three Pete. No. Three you went from two I, time I feel like to three time. I feel oh, like yeah. everyone deserves this award this year. Everyone worked so hard this year and everyone did so amazing. I just felt like uh I felt like the whole clouds deserved every award. Because, you know, every one of us we have a different way of clowning. So Yeah, it's but like... but we all agreed that you deserved it more. <laughs> Thank and you. And so the people that voted you are exactly right. So uh -huh. <laughs> We'll see. No. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, but man. honestly, the it, being a clown with the clowns, that's that's my honest my award. And it, I I got it right from the first day of Fright Fest. Like being with the clowns, being to uh, having a scare with Jinx and Hex and Crybaby. Oh, yeah. that, that's definitely a, something so big for me. So I've looked up to Jinx and Hex and like right, Crybaby wow. for a long time. Like those people I've, you know, I remember would I would watch them scare and I'd like oh, write down notes. I'm like, oh, that, that's a good, that's a good one right there. You know, just being with the same group as them is such a big thing, like to me, that's the biggest things this year for me. Especially peaches and peaches, yeah. There's the clown peaches. too. Like uh, I would always get like nervous around him because I'm like, oh, you're 
Peach is the clown, the Peach is the clown. <laughs> and he's just like vibing. He's like, what's up, guys? And I'm just like, hey, he's right here. He's standing right he's, here. <laughs> he's a vibe. Like he oh, is he's, just, he's awesome. He's an old school right there. I mean, so funny. Old. He's the he, funniest he, one. He was my he was my <laughs> I think for once I actually got to talk to him. I actually because we got to meet him last year and he would not break. He doesn't break. <laughs> but no. I actually got under him a little bit to like slightly lift the curtain to really talk to me as a person, but keep it in character. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get that. <laughs> now, you know, we we always set out a goal that if we make Peaches laugh, then we know it's funny. Yes. And sometimes we would try and make him break character by laughing. We would try and... to break like character, like ha have him break character all the time. Yeah. Just, it would be such a rewarding thing to have yeah. him like laugh. <laughs> <laughs> done it a couple times so we were like all right i remember the no, first no. time i made him break character i was like yes, yes, yes. and he was just like <laughs> laughing breaking the, character and i was like yes thank you uh, <laughs> the xbox notification said achievement unlocked above your oh, i yeah. know exactly <laughs> but not, it but just yeah. funny all our, all our clowns this year were phenomenal Amazing. like working with every single one of them was just an like a treat it was a gift like uh i i would i loved our team this year and i hope all of us come back next year so we can run it back it was a great wow. team this year it was a really we had great teamwork every night like backstage we're like a family and then oh, when yeah. we're out there we're like a family and we're also like we're always having each other's back we're always we know when to like team tag or what's that called like the you know to partner up together. partner up partner up Partner yeah. up. We're so good at it this Back year. Like that. yeah. Being a distraction and doing like having another clown, like, you know, like having a clown make people laugh and then the other clowns like in the back, like coming sneaking behind us or uh, behind them and like scaring them. It's just it it was just so fun. Like that's the oh. best thing about clowns. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's the most important part is if you're not having fun, then it's like why are you doing it? You know what I mean? It's like you gotta have exactly. fun. Exactly. Gotta have fun, gotta have a good time. I actually have a question from uh, one of uh, my friends, Wengo, here, and, and he's a clown over at Carnival. Uh, he wants to know, how do you get through post-haunt depression? Oh my God, it's hard, man. This is so, this is like, last year I was very happy about it because I'm like, all right, one more year and I'm gonna walk around. Mm -hmm. But this year it's, it's rough. Um, I'm I'm still having withdrawals. I'm not ready to move on to Thanksgiving or Christmas. I refuse to listen or see anything Christmas or Thanksgiving related. Yeah. Um out a it's hard on that. Metal music. That I guess that's the best answer. Metal music helps. Metal and, and punk Christmas carols are and, the shit. Yeah. Yeah, that helps. That honestly <laughs> does help. Um, but just have a Halloween Christmas. That's what I kind of do all the time. Mm -hmm. And then you never really get rid of Halloween. You can thank that to the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, and and Krampus. And Kramp exactly Krampus. Krampus Watching like countries. horror movies, definitely. Like, oh like, yeah, all the time. Like me and me and Ben, we always, you know, we were like, okay, let's watch all the Saw movies, <laughs> like oh, all of them, yeah, like you know, watching... just to get us in the mood still. Yeah, we always watch horror movies. That we can't get over those. And I think also another thing is like seeing your haunt friends out, like still, like to this, like right now, like still hanging out with them, making plans, like you know, it kind of still makes you feel like you're still there. But yeah, it doesn't make true. you feel too depressed. Like we get to see our haunt friends, our ha our haunt family from Fright Fest. We we still see them every week. We plan things. We're planning like um our summer already <laughs> like we're already oh, yeah. planning like what are we gonna do for summer like let's go somewhere so it's actually being close to your haunt friends like being close to your family like your haunt family i think that's the number one thing for me 100%. oh yeah 100 percent. round two uh fight. let's see Round fight yeah, exactly uh <laughs> so I, I think honestly for me, uh, I have to say it's one of the most memorable things all, all the time every year that I go is is City Under Siege. I mean, 
it, it's I, I love all the other zones. I love all the other mazes, and this year they were they were even better than last year, and 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 that's always the improvement for every year is how can we top last year, and this yeah. year did that perfectly. Um, so to everyone at Six Flags who give it their all, there was even one zone that wasn't getting really too much notice but luckily we we got to go through there and that was like the new one they had kind of like the the carnival set one that was uh, kind of yeah, yeah i kind of felt bad for them because like there wasn't a lot of people that would go through it because i don't even think they knew it was over there uh so the thing about that is the location it it was a great scare zone we got yeah. uh, me and queenie got to go through it a couple times i loved it i loved every second of it probably my favorite yeah. scare zone aside of like dc i it's definitely my favorite yeah it was great um mm -hmm. but it's just the location there used to be scare zones over there all the time like zombies crossing in the past it's just because it's a pathway and it doesn't really take you directly to the scare zone you kind of have to go out of your way to go through it yeah which sucks it's it sucks because everyone in there was very talented this year and did a really good job as a team they were killing they were, it yeah they were killing so it. creative so much energy they it's just like you're like entering this like carnival like you know like carnival world and it's just right. i love it oh i loved it i mean it, it it gives you that classic 50s carnival vibe and you know, yeah it's really right. fun to go through um mm -hmm. so it's easily one of my favorites to go through and and i i we had a good time going through it I, especially because like like I said, not a lot of people knew where it was at. So when we went through it, we were kind of alone, and we got like an individual scare from each of the of the oh, nice. monsters in there. So you know, it was kind of like a personal, like one on one, that was really cool. And I got to like catch that on camera and stuff. These guys did an amazing job, um, just bringing that to life. So kudos to them. I hope that zone overall just gets a bigger uh, a growth and and yeah. Um, yeah. and and just overall. Um, more recognition I, I think they just got to find a way to to get people to go in there and if that is to put a maze or anything over there i mean yeah. whatever works right yeah so. whatever like maybe you know like what they need to more do, like yeah more lights like they need to turn the carousel on and just have it running the whole night like that would the background just to be creepy yeah and that would draw people's attention in the walkway they'd be like oh that, that's on it's, so yeah have more signs maybe like add more carnival signs mm -hmm. like, this way you know yeah because it's in looney tunes land they should add like those signs where it's like go this way you know you're getting closer yeah you know, have, something like that have one of them like go out and take turns and go out and like lure people in like come this way 100 oh, percent something you know? carnival. I mean, like i'd like a fortune teller or like the the ringmaster to kind of like introduce people into the zone and stuff yeah you know, like so they're very interactive they all like half of them talk and it's just you know get a still walker them. ringmaster too that's gonna drive people's attention right there yeah, yeah. but I, I, you know it's it, the first time i ever got to go to this event was last year um and it was a, a fun time and i knew coming back this year was going to be even better um just to see the new zone the you know some some uh some more people in the mazes and what the new maze of course and and uh, some more people out in the zones. I mean, it was just a big step up from from the first year that I went, and I can't wait to go back next year to see what what happens next. But as far as mm -hmm. next year goes, we already talked about you guys interested in wanting to slide. Um, mm -hmm. Can we expect some uh, some new things coming to the characters, like a two point oh in the works? What, what what can you expect as far as your characters go next year? Um, we're definitely thinking about some outfit changes. Um. Changing the costume a little bit, making um, it. Yeah, and next year Bam Bam's definitely gonna be a uh, a better Bam Bam. Cool. Bam yeah, he, he went from he went from the lead singer of of Kiss, Paul Stanley. Now he's gonna go to straight James Hetfield himself. All right, <laughs> Metallica. Yeah coming out and doing it all that's awesome so we can expect some uh 2.0 for bam bam huh yeah no. maybe slider bam bam we'll see oh, oh definitely slider bam bam <laughs> gonna be a thing you realize yeah. with you being a rock star you got to create some kind of power slide guitar power song. slide i i you know oh. i actually pitched an idea i had a i still have it actually it's right here <laughs> uh, 
a little red inflatable guitar. Yes. I would totally go out there and power slide. I gave it to one. I gave it to Jinx backstage, and he power slid with it, and it looked so awesome. Yep. So imagine what it's gonna be like with your character too, with the rock and roll oh, film. Right. It'll be great. Ne- next year it'll be great. It will be great indeed. It will be Queenie two point oh. What are we gonna see? Um, costume changes for sure. Um, I want to have a different look next year. Um, still black and yellow, but kind of my own, you know, from my own like spin with it. Um, probably adding more chains, like you know, because I tweak had chains like right here, and I would probably add that more to my costume. Um, but yeah, it's just so far, and then also slider. I've talked to supervisors and I've talked to the other clowns, and I told them like, what's my chances of becoming a slider for clowns next year? And they all said it like you know it's a good possibility that I I can. So I just have to train. You gotta train. <laughs> I just have to train like every like, every, gotta, every week. You gotta you gotta channel your inner Rocky Balboa and just go out for it. I would do it. So it's funny because I'm not, I wasn't allowed to slide this year, but I would secretly, allegedly do it. Um, Every time I slide, I get up and then I look around. I'm like, okay, there's no one, like none of our suits are watching, but I wasn't allowed to slide. Actually, I was just doing it, whatever, if I got in trouble or not. But yeah. Um, yeah, I would do it like when it's empty and toward towards the end of the night. Like I knew that there was like you know no one really watching, so I was like, you know what, I'll do it. So like, it's my perfect time to practice, anyways. And I remember, it was, I think it was Hex that was the first person to saw, see me slide, and I would do like I would slide with my hammer, so I go shh, and I would slide, and I would like hit the hammer, like I would hit the the shoes with my hammer as I slide down there, and then Hex was like. Like, did you just did you did you just slide? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you saw that? He's like, yeah, like, it was actually good. I was like, good job. I was like, like damn, that was a, that was actually a good job. So I was like, it's, yeah, I was like, I was that's doing it in front awesome. of the clown. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, hey, I, I'm here for it, man. Like I said, we need more we need more female sliders out there. You know, we need to change the, change the game. You know, and and. There's a few people already doing it, but why not add on to that revolution, right? Yeah, yeah. a lot of there's gonna be definitely a lot of sliders next year. I mean, right now, as of now, we know a lot of hangouts already, um, a lot of practices going on with Fright Fest people that are oh, not yeah. sliders. Yeah. Um, there's already meetups. Like today, there was one. There was a meetup to practice sliding, and it was like with a couple of maze people actually with the walk arounds, like. Like meeting up and helping each other out and actually that the thought of that makes me so happy because we're like oh, yeah. in the community like it's all about like supporting each other helping each other out um, when you're, you're a walk around or you're a maze person it's just like motivating supporting each other at all yeah. times very yeah, they're, important. Be- they're being led by mr fink right now yeah mr fink aka rick rack Rick Rack, the clown. Finkster. Training Fink, people left. <laughs> Me and Fink go back to, to the pandemic days, man. We were playing freaking Call of Duty all the time. <laughs> all he's the awesome, time. dude. He, he's awesome. Yes. I, I love Fink. So nice. Such a sweet. Unfortunately, such a sweet the night I, I went, he actually was in the middle of uh, fighting or getting started with bronchitis. With bronchitis, um, yeah. So that, that's a bummer. That's why he was saving his voice as much as possible. But, uh, he gave me he gave me some show and I liked it. <laughs> a lot of a lot of injuries this year with well, the. We kind of went through a little rough year. It was a rough Good year. Um, we I I first I got I had COVID for two weekends, so I had to miss two weekends, and then our other clown doctor shout out to doctor doctor um, doctor <laughs> he um had a leg injury so he had to stop um and then rick rack had the uh, he had a cough so people were it was it was a rough year but we like we stayed strong and we yeah yeah we stayed strong all of that's us important. Yeah, exactly that's what's important keeping each other strong yeah. keeping each other motivated i mean that's what yeah. gets, that's what gets, that's what teamwork is right there and that's what it should be like when know? rick rack came back um we were just constantly like 
like you don't have to go full out like we got it like we'll yeah, take we'll, it easy we'll, take, take it easy, easy. <laughs> like you know you, go take a break go take a 30 go you know like even it's though you're water. not yeah. yeah like go for it but really it was also very rough um at the same time even though like it was fun there was still like bad days and like you know yeah, I mean, the probably, typical like guests like um that are not nice <laughs> the assholes, the luckily, assholes not, guys. luckily we didn't have anything as bad as like what happened at universal that that was you believe that shit dude, yeah. that, that was horrible I was even the guy. one with uh the not was, scary fun show walker yeah. yeah me and and me and nate addressed that it's like you know, the wrong, you know, the wrong type of fall on a stilt walk can literally kill a man. Exactly. Seriously. And, and going, then you're going then you end up going to jail that night with, with manslaughter on your hands. So like all year we were I, I was standing next to either Queenie or our stilt walker because they're the only females and we all know the females get a, a lot worse than the guys do. Being abused wow. like left and right still. So yeah, I always noticed you guys were together too. That was always good to see. Like, if she was like over here, you were kind of like over here. But like, she was working with one crowd, you were working the run crowd. But you kind of yeah. were your way to in the middle. See, we tried that, but every time something happened to her, I was somewhere else. Somewhere else. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, there was one night I had a rough night. I cried like towards the end. I was crying on my way home. Like I had a lady like toss her drink and i it was like a large like sprite i think or whatever oh, water man. and i was drenched like head to toe like she and just tossed it's sticky, it. and it's just like oh no. yeah so i and it was so cold so the 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 drink was filled with so much ice so i looked and she looked at me and she was like cussing at me and i was like I ran backstage. I started crying, and then I went to wardrobe, and I was like asking wardrobe people, "I'm like, do you guys have an extra shirt? I'm drenched right now. Like my whole my hair, my my wig was drenched. I got it. I got in my new shirt. Went back out there. First ten minutes, like two guys came up to me and just like shoved me, and they were like, ha! I like, and I just I was like, I went to the fog, and I was like, I cried more, and I was like, you know what? okay that's it i'm done for tonight yeah. <laughs> it was like horrible it was just like in a matter of 30 minutes that it all happened all at once and you know sometimes us characters i feel like we all have like a breaking point like we, we're all patient and you know but there is always that like oh, I'm, I'm done like i'm so tired i want to go you're home all patient but at the end of the day you're all human yeah um, yeah we, we, we try to be patient at least me and Bam Bam, we try to be patient with things. Um, there were times that, he, like, you should tell him about your uh, story with the pastor. Like, that was a good one. So, I got punched by a pastor the first day I had <laughs> made there. The Lord hit you. Uh, the, I got hit with the right hand of God. Um, yeah, I had Nate's air cannon, and I kept getting it in his face i wasn't in his face i was probably like four feet away i wasn't like up in his face he was like hey get that out of my face i'm like i'm not in your face you know being a clown being and you know starting stuff <laughs> he finally gets me with a quick jab um it was very weak but the fact that he punched me that's kind of what set me off i witnessed the whole thing i was like Ooh. Did that just happen in front of me? Like, did he it just got hurt. hit in the face? It didn't hurt at all. I just, like, was fed up with the fact that he did it in front of his wife and kids, too. Yeah. And so I got my supervisor. And I I also you started, yelled at him. You started yelling I at broke him. character. I went up to the guy and was like, hey, dude, like, get the hell, get, get, get back over here. I was like, like, you can't be hitting us. Like, I was just like getting mad at him. I was yeah, I broke character, getting mad at him. And he was like, he touched me. I was like, he didn't touch you. I was like, you know, and yeah, he, uh, the fence. You know? I, I did say something to him kind of too harsh now that I think about it, but he did punch me. So. Uh, I got my supervisor and he followed him like halfway through the park and they got kicked out. So, yeah. And then the cop was like, do you want press charges? 
he was the oh, oh he's like oh yeah he also he was a pastor i'm like what the no just kick, <laughs> just kick his holy ass out of the park just kick his holy ass out of the park <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, We're like, I'm, I'm, I wonder, I'm wondering, like, what's his Sunday like uh, sermon like? <laughs> that's what my big, that's what my big thought was. I'm like, what's his next? Because he punched me on a Sunday. I'm like, well, that's already bad. <laughs> so my next next week, be like, I punched a kid in the face. And at six that's why. <laughs> at six flags, don't do it because you're gonna get kicked out. You know, don't do it. <laughs> and this is why you don't punch a clown. <laughs> Oh man, I, I think uh, yeah, that's 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 brutal, man. I mean, that, I mean, but you're the first to ever say a story like uh, of a of a pastor. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, 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 we're all proud of it. Apparently, yeah, this uh, our guy from wardrobe told the big the guy in charge of fright fest, Mark. He's like, yeah, hey, Ben got a pastor kicked out, and he was like, well, that's the first I've ever heard of that. Six <laughs> five. I'm like, yeah. all right. <laughs> Just set a new uh, Six Flags world record. Uh, first first one. Pastor kitty getting kicked out of the park. Oh man, I did feel a little kind of proud about that, but. Yeah. <laughs> but had you a other... plaque right now, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I had all I had was that, and this one time where these two ladies were just really cussing at me and think for no reason. Other than that, though, I didn't really have any uh, problems this year. Mm. Other than the annoying usual teenagers. They wanted yeah. to do uh, a lot of things with... You know, hey, hey, you're gritty. You throw up the fours. So, oh, hey, you're that guy. <laughs> Talk. Like, uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> the, how, the how many times I heard to take a B-reel? Oh, so, you know, I had a lot of fun with that. Because I've never heard of B-reel ever until first day of fry fest and all these people are asking me so in my head i instantly thought uh i was like i got a good joke i'm like hey why can't you get real and then i just <laughs> walk away can you be in my be real i'm like i'm old-fashioned i'll take a picture with you but i'm not gonna get on be real <laughs> I, don't I i just i don't I, I they were asking me when i was working the haunt i was working at i was like you the be real's a rapper dude like what are you talking about <laughs> I'm like, how uh, am I gonna get be real here? Like, I just can't. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I are you just Har like, like, I would get like, are you Harley Quinn? I'm like, is Harley Quinn black and yellow? Yeah, <laughs> but like, see, they call, we would get kids that call the girls Harley Quinn and our stilt walker Harley Quinn. Yeah, it's Harley they, Quinn up there. It's like I would get called Joker all the time. I'm like, I'm not even gonna like <laughs> dignify that with a response. That was that gave me brain trauma. <laughs> I think the only thing left you need is a Batman. That's all right. I, I got the symbol. That's all good. I'll be Batman. Rest, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. That Kevin was me. My, Kevin Conroy. My this Batman is, forever. Oh, my God. The iconic voice of Batman himself. That one hurt me. I actually, that fun fact, hurt. I got to meet him at Long Beach Comic Con like a few years oh. back. And so, I, I will never forget this because you can never forget this from Kevin Conroy. But... I'm in line waiting to meet him, and uh, I got an autograph, got a photo with him. Guy's super cool. Um, I just fanboyed out with the Arkham games because that's what I grew up with with him and the animated series. Um, and uh, as I'm waiting in line, someone asked him to drop the iconic line, and he screamed, I am the knight. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Like, loud. And I was like, I just saw that in person. Yeah. How many people oh, have it. actually yeah. seen that in person? Not a lot of people. That's awesome, dude. Wow. And I, yeah. I look over at his autograph, just kind of like tears shedding my eye and stuff. And, um, I'm still I'm still pretty broken up about that. You know, it's our childhood. But yeah. Oh man. But, I mean yeah. that's great. But no, there was I I uh oh, I was gonna go ahead. Uh, there was one time, though, a guy literally came in a legit Batman suit, and all the clowns just started running away from me. He's like, no, it's Batman! No! Yeah, like, oh, it's Batman! That's cool. They let that in the park? No, I was surprised. There were times where people would be bringing masks, and I'm like, they allow that? Since mm -hmm. when? <laughs> uh, I, I liked... Uh, I, I actually... I, I, You know, you guys keep doing it, man. Just keep being the next big thing in that zone because 
I mean, a lot of heavy hitters left, but doesn't mean a lot of heavy hitters cannot grow. Yeah, and, yeah, definitely. I think the big, the big difference too is that um, this year there's actually we're all, I think we're a lot meaner. I, me and Bam Bam, we're so mean. I feel like um, <laughs> we roast people left and right. That's actually I think one of my favorite parts because you know Tweak um, would always roast people. So I was like, you know, I got to get the mean side out of me and then I got to roast people every night. So that's what I did. So most of the times I would say, like, actually would talk. I'm actually like being mean to somebody or I'm being mean to a guest, like just roasting. Like, for example, if I see like a, a guy bald head, like super bald, super like shiny, I'd, I'd be like, like, what happened? Where's the rest of it? Like, did it fall off the ride or something? I'd be like that. Okay. <laughs> Or if I see like a couple and there's like that one awkward like friend that's like walking with them, I would just oh, scream cool. it out loud. I'm like, hey, you're the third wheel, aren't you? And then they'd just be like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that sucks, dude. Like, you know, and I'm just like <laughs> in front of everyone, um, like roasting people left and right. I would go up to a couple and I'd be like, like, wait, 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 wait. like you're with him? I'm like, and she's like, yeah, it's my boyfriend. And I'm like, I go, oh, you need to get your eyes fixed. <laughs> and I just <laughs> walk away. It's just like oh. roasting people. Like, another thing that I do is I take people's hats. That's I'd cool. be like, I want the hat. Give me the hat. And like, I wear it, but I would not bring it back. Like, I would just like walk away with it. And they just chase me down. And they're like, oh, give me my hat back. I'm like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think that's allowed, but oh, whatever. <laughs> it's okay. I'll probably get like a warning or something, but. It's like a lot of things that we like, you know, I would tell like Bam Bam, I'm like, like, oh, am I going to get in trouble with this? Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I, you would tell I, me like the amount of times you've said something and you like. I've, I've definitely said a lot worse things than you have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we look back. We look back uh, when we get home. We're like, I think mm -hmm. what I said today was really bad. <laughs> like we could get a couple of like we think if I we get it to tomorrow, day. yeah, know, right? like, the next day we'll find out. We'll find out the next day. How can I up that the next day? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. We have nice clowns. Like, I think Rick Rack is the nicest one. Um, is yeah, definitely Fink the or Rick clown. Rack. Um, I think like Hex is a nice clown. Um, he's terrifying, but when if he does say something, it's like nice. But me and Bam Bam and Sunny are. Sunny. Oh, clowns. Sunny. Sunny's a real savage. I, the, I, I think he's the meanest one. Sunny, our newest clown, the big guy with Tweak's um, wig. Right. I, he's my brother too, so we're all kind of related. Me, Tweak, oh. and Sunny, um, we're siblings. But he's the meanest clown, and, and the things he says, I'm just like, I walk away, and I'm like, shoo, like, You're did like, you I'm really not gonna have it? any part of that. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you, you gotta you walk away sometimes. That? huh yeah you gotta walk away from him sometimes i know so, so, like i think one thing that he said i was like really mean like this kid was doing a Fortnite dance in front of me and he went up to the mom and he's like is this your kid and the mom's like yeah it's my son and he goes i'm sorry dude. <laughs> and i was like i was like oh he's great sonny's awesome and i walk away i'm like did he just say that oh yeah he did but he's a great clown he's definitely a great like you know addition to the family oh yeah he's new it's his first year and he's so uh, in dcu so good for him too to yeah. have the scare zone good for him for real i mean i mean it's that's a, that's like one of these zones at fright fest you know like yeah everyone wants zone. to be everyone me wants to be sunny me sunny and chaos definitely got lucky we're all the like first time walk arounds like and you guys are clowns now. So. <laughs> that is awesome. I mean, yeah. I'm glad you guys had a, a great um, season. And I'm also it, w what's what's good about this story is it, it, it spawned from you, you know, getting with her, getting to know her, and 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 then her just re sparking that interest and, yeah. and and seeing that a lot of people find this just to be normal <laughs> in their day to day <laughs> lives. 
So I mean, I I think that's a great the great story of its own of you two because it kind of like reminds me a lot of me and my girlfriend of how we met at like a photo meet. We both loved horror and we both love you know Hans and 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 everything. Yeah. Then you start finding out more and more about this person. It's like wow, we have more in common than we thought. Um, yeah. I was a I was so nervous to tell him. I'm like, I don't know if I should tell you about this, but I'm a scare actor and I'm into haunts. And he's just like, wait, what? And I was like, oh no, he's gonna he's gonna leave me for this. And he actually he's like, it he loved it. And I was, you know, it worked out because some people think it's a little bit strange. Like, like I I definitely if my ex boyfriend found out, he'd be like, oh, it's just a little bit strange, you know, but. With Ben, with Bam Bam, is he loved it and he's supportive to this day. He supported me um, as characters, you know, as a coworker, every way, as a lover, even. So yeah, it all worked out, and we got lucky with the same scare zone. Like we got very lucky about it because we would tell our friends, like, oh yeah, me and Bam Bam were in the same scare zone. They're just like they put you in the same scare zone. Like that's not good. Like, how and awesome it's like is that. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, no, it's good. And it's like, well, there could be trouble. I'm like, there's no trouble because, you know, we're very professional the whole time. Like a lot of we we, we never like act as a couple. We kind of act like like business partners when we're yeah. there and like, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's when we get we're there, we're just like, you know, what's up? But like, you know, so it's oh, yeah. definitely like very professional between both of us, and it's a like lot of Jim people. And Pam in the office, right there, Bam. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I think of it. Jim and and then if you see us like out in the scare zone, we're near each other, like to like give out like the you know like I'm watching you, you're watching me, we're watching each other's back, but you never see us like going like this. We were always very like separated because I'm. Yeah, like, honestly, the the times we were doing things together is. Very little amount. Very little. Whole Sometimes I don't even week. see you like for a good hour, two hours. Like I work kind of like away from each other, and oh, yeah. next thing you know, it's like two hours, like an hour and a half later, we're just like, "You good? You good? All right, good." And then we go like separate Got ways. Signals. I like that. Yeah. yeah. That He'd always signals. check up on me, like, "You good?" I'm like, "You good?" There it is. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys, you guys do, you're doing something special and that's awesome. Um, you guys are carrying on a legacy of, of people who have come before you and now just adding your own stamp to things, which is always a great feeling because now you get to add your personal touch to things, which is a lot of fun. Um, one of the last questions I want to ask you guys, because this is usually our hardest question that a lot of guests find difficult. Uh, this is a question we ask most, uh, most of the majority of all of our guests because we've been doing it. It's been a tradition from the podcast since the start. And that is, what is your favorite scary movie? Oh, shit. <laughs> like of all time all or time. like recently? Um, you could do one of each. Okay, oh. recently, I think we can both agree Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2. I haven't seen that one yet. I got to watch it. Okay. Like, honestly, the first one, that's nothing. You can honestly ignore that. But watch the second one. It was. Watch this one. The new one. That's it. You I like the watch. first one. The first one was good. And so I'm waiting. I'm looking forward to see what the second one is. I got to meet him too. And really, he's a nice person. The guy who plays. Oh, wow. Him. This second one. This second one took a whole new leap. Like, mm -hmm. there's one little dumb part. But other than that, it doesn't even like change the movie. It's so good. Nice. Yeah, um, but I think all time, that's hard. That is hard. Oh, man. It's a difficult question. I, you know, what? I'm just going to go with the movie that's always haunted me. It's probably going to be The Exorcist. Yeah. I Only because I watched that at a very young age, and that movie has scarred me for life. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, man. You and me both. But... But my favorite horror icon is Freddy. Oh, a little Nightmare on Elm Street action, huh? Yes, sir. Nice. I know. Like, I think my favorite of all time right now, I think it's the Annabelle movies. I oh, can't okay. pick which one. But definitely the first and second one, um, I think they were amazing. Like, they were really well made. The story is, I mean, dolls scared me growing up. Like, my mom would have, gla like, these glass dolls sitting around my room. 
and the fact that i know I, that scared me and then i watch annabelle and i'm just like oh wow i lived through this like i lived through like this the fear of like dolls coming to life because there's a demon inside of them then yeah it's definitely the annabelle movies uh, for me reina tear did their lights out for their very last night and we we went to it and talk about walking through a maze with lights on, but without lights and just a glow stick. And then you go oh, in a room that's, that has dolls, and it's like, what's real, what's not real? That was how I was feeling throughout the entire film. I was terrified. It's oh, terrifying. Wow. Like, but they, it was so fun. Yeah. I would do it again. They think You think that like they're watching you sleep or something, because you wake up in the middle of the night, and they're, they're like looking at you. So I was like, it was like that terrified me. <laughs> it's a situation, to be honest with you, it is. Um. <laughs> Well, I, I am honestly looking forward to seeing what you guys do for the 2023 season. I will very much be paying a visit back because uh, it's now a tradition of ours. We we got to go visit our friends over at, at Fright Fest. Um, and I want to do have these questions, too, for oh, you we got got questions, too. Let's go answer them. Let's do quick fire. We'll do like rapid questions. What about you? You got just uh, I, got some, uh, I had I got some good questions. You have the I got, one. I got, <laughs> yeah, good, I I got one. good questions. You got some good questions. All right, ready? I got one. Um, if you could pick the song for the release, the clowns, what song? Ooh. Any song you'd for me? Any song you'd pick? Because do you have good oh, taste in yeah. music? Release the clowns. Is that like ours, or is that just unleashed? Unleashed, I think. Okay, yeah, unleashed. Unleashed. Well, there's so many for unleashed. Like I would like. Uh, uh, Children of the Grave by Black Sabbath. Or, oh, that'd be so good. Uh, Nightmare would is always a good one because yeah. that Nightmare. sounds that one sounds very similar with uh, Parkway Drive's uh, The Void, which is what we usually use. You gotta yeah. go back on my page and on my Instagram page and look for the twenty twenty one. Uh, Six Flags compilation. For okay. me, the opening intro that I picked was a two-parter, but kind of connected into one, oh. which was uh, Delusions of Savior going into Repentless by Slayer. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like that, I think I Slayer, could... just to get that, like, especially like Raining Blood or like... I know, Raining Blood. That's another good one. I was always thinking Raining Blood. <laughs> south, of, south of Heaven. Oh, South of Heaven. This is a, a lot. I feel like I don't mind them changing it. Like I know, like, like for it. whom for whom the bells stole Metallica, that's even a really good one. Iron but Man, it, the trooper. It's it's gotta be metal though. It it has to always be metal, no matter what. The number of the uh, beast, I don't know. Oh yeah, number of the beast would be good. I got a good one. What are your tips for scare acting? What are um you know tips to, what for a good scare? The tips for scare. For um, good scare? <laughs> you answer that. You're the veteran here. Well, I mean, what I think, um, honestly, number one thing to be a scare actor is to always stay in character, even if there is no crowd, there is no one around. Even though there's only like, let's say in your scare zone, there's about like 15, 10 people. Those are still your guests and they're watching. And you know, you don't want to see like a scare actor just like, oh, like, you know, like Yane or something. You want to be in character. So, and I see like when I go to Not Scary Farm, I see like like people in character all the time, like oh, yeah. all the time. Even if it was like already like closing and it's already dead, they were they're still in character all the time. The way they walk, the way they move their hands, they move their head, like it's just amazing. That's why that's why I learned it from not scare farm scare actors. Yeah. That well, it's always so important to stay in character because look at these guys. Because like, if you go into not scare farm, you feel like you're in like this like scary like haunted world and because they're always in character over there. Oh, and yeah. like, like the scare actors at Fright Fest, I always tell them, like the new ones, I always say, you know what? Stay in character. Cause like it's just amazing. Like that's what I love about not scare farm scare actors. They're always in character. They're always moving like their character, even if there was no one like watching, they're always still in character. Like in the Goring 20s, for example, they're always still oh, in character. Yeah. 
They never uh, break her. We gotta, it's we gotta just amazing. That. We got to redo that intro. You're talking about the 2022 scare zone of the year, the Goring yeah, 20s. Yeah. Oh, I love that scare zone. I, I was I there know, for like that's... almost two hours, I think. Like we were just dancing and uh, going with the, the scare actors there. Oh, it's Shout great. out to Goring 20s. Oh my God. Favorite they did. They were they did outstanding this year. Fantastic. I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to yeah. leave. That yeah, zone. I was with you. We were, there for, we were there for like an hour and a half. We were just like, uh, we got to go see other things. We got to yeah. go see the other zones, other mazes. Oh, yeah. Well, I bet it's a drive for you guys to probably get out there too, right? Like it's, it's it no, is. No, it's no so way. worth it. Not it's scared. Worth it. Part, it's it. Yeah. So worth it. I'd it's, go back. It's honestly not that bad. It could be worse. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I would drive six flags four hours. It's worth it. I would drive four oh, hours to go yeah. to Not Scary Farm. I definitely would. I would stay. I would go there like five times in one week. Like it's just so good. Yeah, Not Scary. Ghost Town. Like I think that's what we did. Me and Ben this year, we sat at Ghost Town. We watched like all the sliders, and we were yes. just like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like whoa, this is this awesome. Year, this year, we really dedicated ourselves to all the walk around scare actors. Uh, they're all phenomenal yeah. at not at not like we look up to them like big role models for oh, us. Yeah. especially merrick over there crazy, oh. merrick, crazy. He's a merrick. merrick shout out to merrick he's my i know merrick's my watching too i know <laughs> it is that, merrick that, he's my that inspiration guy. for this year for my queenie yeah, character he's actually my inspiration like that i would start with, yeah that like the craziness like I got my ear for a good eight minutes this year. Uh, <laughs> the knots. Shout out to I Merrick. Like I didn't want to go near you when I was at Scary Farm because you were too <laughs> scary. I didn't want to go near him. Merrick. I got <laughs> I got a question from Fink. Uh, what is the clown word of the day? We told all the clowns the word, so you should know. I think uh, today was Shleem. I don't remember what Shleem <laughs> meant. The clown word of the day. So funny. I don't know why, yeah. <laughs> but we do it. Hey, we would just not? tell people random no, words. Um, I have a good question from the 702 Suzuki or seven the uh, mm -hmm. underscore 702 underscore Suzuki. Are there any future haunts for Bam Bam and Queenie in the future outside of Fright Fest? We're going to travel anywhere? Is there anywhere? Okay. For starters, uh, I, I know it is for a season for you guys to do other places is a little bit more difficult. But if the yeah. opportunity were to arise and you guys had that opportunity, how would you? Where would you guys want to go? I personally want to go to Knotts. Knotts. Knotts is the. OG. I know. Yeah. I know. Queenie would like to work at Horror Nights. Yeah, I'm, for a year just to try it. I need more convincing on Horror Nights, even though from what I hear from Nate, it sounds amazing. It's just. Serena and Nate, they love it. The Guillermo, they love it. So yeah, I guess yeah. I want to try it. But um, we want freedom too. I guess like he, Bam Bam wants freedom to. Yeah, I like I like the freedom. That's that's what I love about Fright Fest. It's it's freedom, character growth, um, and and I love the prosthetics. I'm in love with the prosthetics more than a mask. Yeah. Prosthetics are good. I would say with knots, their their strongest thing is their makeup team. They got a really good like really makeup good team. makeup team. So, oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, they got a really like good I one. honestly for me, I do horror night. So me and Bam Bam so far we're planning to do one to two years of Fright Fest, being Queenie and Bam Bam. After that, um, we might take a break, um, doing other things like uh, you know careers and stuff. Um, but we, I definitely do a year of horror nights. I'm trying to get him to do it one year with me, but if not, then we will definitely go to knots. Definitely. That's part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. We already planned this 10 years ahead. Like we were just like, okay, you got a 10 year plan going on right now. Yeah. 10 years. We were all, we were going to go to New York in like three, four years just to move there and live there. But we're, we're canceling it because we want to stay in California for, haunts we're planning to do haunts for like the next 10 10 years maybe like that's it's part of the plan um like we want like to be here it's like it's like a marvel phase we're like planning out phase one and phase two and are yeah. we gonna get to that big fight do, with Thanos yeah. at the end? let's do it 
We want to do three years at min at least at knots. We want to spend three years of our lives there. Um, yeah. whatever scare zone they put us there. Hopefully, like ghost town. Um, for me, at Goring Twenties, I don't know. Goring Twenties might be too hard because I'm not very good at like improvising. Um, yeah, like I mean, to talk. I know stuff. when they when they casted that zone, it was more uh of trying to sell a story, you know, with with and yeah. I and I feel like you do that with every zone though, but. Theirs was like so specific. Hi, buddy. I got the dog here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> theirs was so specific in really selling you to be in the 20s. Um, yeah. They, they did a good job at that. Um, they did a really good job with um, making you feel immersed into that with the bands and, and how they were acting. You know, you had some saloon, uh, not saloon girls, you had some cigar girls walking around, you had the mobsters walking around. You had your local the dancers, and, the dancers. Uh, yeah. I mean, you had everything at that zone. It was it was really oh, good yeah. to see how uh, how much it really um, it affected it. And I, and I keep and I keep telling every uh, Gordon Twenties scare actor or actress that I've that I've talked with that um, it it is insane to see from twenty twenty one where you guys first just discovered the zone. You guys were just getting an idea for your characters, and now this year you made that zone your bitch. Yeah, oh, right. Oh no, seriously, they so good. Uh, being in that zone, it literally felt like you were at a different place. Yeah. You were the, you were in the twenties, basically. Yeah. Like you it, it really the felt like that. Everything, the vibe, like was just great. Like we were, as I said, when breakfast people took over knots, we went there like a big group. Right. We were there for like an hour and a half. We were dancing, and, and we, we were, were in there with us. It was just yeah. amazing. We that didn't want to leave. Favorite. That was one of my favorite compilations to make this year. I made a Gorin 20s compilation to the song The 20s by Ghost. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Had I wish I had the camera I do now, I mean, I'd be making... The, you know what's funny is the camera that I have now, the first night I got to go out and play with it was the first night I went... To, was the night that I went to Six Flags. Oh. oh. Hey, I'm honored. <laughs> that, was, that was a good camera, man. It's still it's one of my favorites and uh, got some things planted in the way. Buddy, you can't take off the cone. I'm sorry. He's trying oh, to take off the cone. cone. He's frustrated. The cone of shame. He's frustrated. No, he just because he had surgery. Um, we had a we had to clip him so he can, you know. Oh uh, yeah. You know, so um. There, yeah. there's a question by Howling Hour. Uh oh. <laughs> we know Rob here. <laughs> what does Rob have to say? Rob's a proud member of the Knights of Horror, right there. Here we go. So he's asking. Most mem our most memorable scare of 2022. Oh. I mean, I don't know how you could top getting the priest kicked out, but <laughs> I, I know that's a good one. But you know, I there is one group. It was a group of five people, uh, three guys, two girls, and they were all kind of just standing in a circle. And I literally went up to them and I was explaining to them on how to scare, and I was like explaining to them that I'm gonna scare them, and I gave them a count. And I still scared him, like, just, well, <laughs> with my clapper. And I was just like, really? Really, you guys? Come on. <laughs> uh, so I think that was a good one. Mine was like a whole family. Like, there was mom and dad. Like, how I don't know how many kids. It was like four kids. And I, they were walking to Wonder Woman, and I scared them, like, all as a family. And they were like, like the kids ran, left their parents, and then the, the mom ran too. So the dad was just like, oh my God, like this, these people, you know. And then when they were going to the line, I was just standing there with my, like my hammer. And I stood there for like five minutes, like, like just watching them going up the line and like, go, and they were like looking at me. They were so pointed, like, oh, like she's still there. She's still standing. <laughs> so when they went on the ride, I left. And I scared some other people. I, I had this thought. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go back to Wonder Woman and check if they got off the ride. So I went. I got. I went to Wonder Woman. I did my creepy walk. And I did my little thing. My pose. That's when they just got off. Like, they oh, literally saw me get off. Like, the exit. It was perfect timing. And they were all, like, looking. Like, oh, my God. And then I just heard, like, the dad was like, oh, look. She waited for you guys. And I think that was, like, funny. Because... It was like a long line, so the fact that I perfectly mm -hmm. timed standing there doing the same creepy like, like look, and the, the same creepy pose that I did, yeah. it was just perfect timing. So I think that made me laugh because I in my head I was like, no way, like it's perfect timing. But I that's have, a, one. 
I have a question from Ranabelle. Um, so what now, now that Halloween haunts are done? Are they though? Uh, That's my answer to that question. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Never done. I mean, maybe for the year. I'm seeing um, a lot of Christmas things popping up. What is there now? We got we got a Krampus thing going on at Castle Dark. We got a uh, a Reign of Terror two night thing. Uh, season Screamings is literally a few weeks away in Pasadena. Midsummer Scream Season Screamings. They're gonna have a whole hall of Yuletide um, spirits with a whole. Uh, it's all home haunts doing mazes, Christmas themed. I mean, there's a there's a lot of things. It's coming. not over yet. It yeah, goes. Yeah. I mean, for people yeah. who are in, I think people who are into haunts, it, it's never it never ends, honestly. And honestly, we start celebrating Halloween like April. Like we have decorations of like I'm, I think I'm, I'm I'm just uh, that's the vibe. I'm here year round. I'm like yeah. uh, when whenever it ends, it just keeps going. It's just mm, a new year, yeah. new number. Instead of wearing Christmas sweaters, I still wear like my Halloween sweaters, Halloween I'm hoodies wearing, wearing, everywhere. I'm, I'll be rocking my merch. <laughs> merch link in bio. Yeah, the know. merch. <laughs> yeah, so it never ends. Never oh, ends I, for us. I, yeah, it never it never ends. And it's one of those things where it just keeps going. There is a question by MDEL0725. As a weekly FF guest, did you guys ever get bored of seeing the same people week after week? Like seeing what coworkers or seeing each other? I think like, I think he's talking about a guest. To a guest because there's a guest that come every single night. We love the guests that we come like, every week. We love regulars, but we don't like regulars that are bothering us too much. Yeah, makes sense. But we do love regulars. We, we love, love like regulars, we get families coming every week and then they they sit there for hours and watch us oh, like yeah. the kids watch us so i think you guys know who you are if you're if you're seeing this you definitely like, know who you guys are. know like you guys are the people that do come every week um i do have one last question out of all these questions i'm going to choose this one was being a clown a dream of yours growing up was being a clown good a dream of yours? I mean, it's a dream of mine, okay. and I'm, I'm doing it right now in my world, real world life. But <laughs> I want to talk to you guys. You guys are the professionals. What about you, Bam Bam? Do you think it was a dream of yours to be in this scare zone to be a clown? Oh, definitely. <laughs> for me, going to Six Flags as a guest from 13 years up to 18 years, uh. Knowing peaches that long, yeah, like finally getting to work with peaches, it's mind blowing to me. Yeah, um, yeah, I to me, it's still crazy, especially like with all these fans that literally come just to see us again. Yeah, you know, make drawing art of us that's the crazy part to me. People actually like us a lot, they're coming to see us constantly, they're making art of us, doing like fan arts. Yeah, it's insane. It's been a dream of mine to be a clown. Like 2018, when I started, when I, um, you know, saw like Tweak and the pink and blue clown, it's like been a dream to you know. I really worked hard. Like, when I say, I, I when I come into work and I say, you know what, you know what, um, and you're gonna you're gonna work hard today. Um, I did have like a you know a reason, and the reason was because I want to get to DC, I want to be in City Under Siege someday, and I will do whatever it takes to to get there. So, I'll work my, my ass off as much as I can. To get to that and so yes it's been a dream of mine to be a clown um it i it took me like you know four years to be a clown so yeah definitely it took it takes a lot of hard work to um to get there a lot of people want to be in the clowns like i know next year we have i already know myself like 10 plus people auditioning next year to be a clown specifically and yeah and like with like the amount of spots that's open, I don't know if there's enough for even like four or five. We'll see. So it's just like the amount of people that are trying to be a clown, and there's only a little bit of spots open. It's like it's insane. Like because it is oh, like yeah. I think it's a lot of people's dream to be a clown, and yeah. it's such an honor to be one. So it is, but you'll you'll find your way there. 
too. Yeah. So no matter what, just keep working for it and you'll get it. Yeah, you definitely like our supervisors. Um, when I when I went to our big boss, um, Mark, he's like our big Fright Fest boss. He's literally in charge of everything. I told him like, Mark, I hope I impressed you this year. I hope me and Bam Bam and everyone in the mm -hmm. clowns, we hope that you're ha we hope that you're happy with how we we, we came about. And yeah. he was like, you know what, you guys are great. Like, you know, I have already like an idea of who's gonna be in DCU. Like, I'm right. seeing it. Um, I have, you know, you have to be amazing, incredible, perfect. You have to be everything. Um, so it really does take a lot of hard work. And the supervisors at Fright Fest, they're, they always are constantly, like, looking out for people, like, watching right. people. Um, like, oh, this person, I see this person in DCU someday. So never, even though you're in, like, uh, Scream Punk or Dead Zone, if you want to be in the clowns, I feel like, you really have to give out, give your best. Um, you, stay, want, you have to want it. You have to want it. You have to stay committed. When I say co stay committed, like stay committed to your character. If you're in Dead Zone, be a Dead Zone character. Stay committed to that. Never break character. Um, you know, scare as many people as you can. Like, you know, it's all about that. Because um, you are getting paid to scare people. Like in the in the end, like you know, you can just walk around and be like an attraction. But it's really important to scare as much people as you can in front of supervisors, especially because they're watching, mm -hmm. and they they are they're giving good words to our to the supervisors so that you can get into the clowns. I feel like mm -hmm. that's a lot of it too. It's a lot of hard work to get into the DC or to stay there, to stay yeah. there. Too. Yeah, no, I agree because I've seen you know many all these clowns and and what they. The energy they bring in and it's the same yeah. exact one and you guys continue to bring that energy and it's a lot of fun to uh to witness and and to see what new things can transpire between that it's really the energy yeah it's like if you have a lot of energy like it's that's good that's a good like, way to get into the clowns for sure mm -hmm. right you gotta show it from whatever scare zone you're in <laughs> I do have one last question. Uh, it's how did it feel working at Six Flags? What do you think, Queenie? I, I like it. I've been um, under fight, like Six Flags in general for four years, four and a half years, and I I love I love working for Six Flags personally. I love the entertainment department. Um, I love all my supervisors. Um, I think they do a good job of like making you feel like like home, family um supervisors wise definitely yeah like they're good at like watching out for us yeah but i i can agree uh six flags is is nice they're uh, nice they're they're good like they try i think they try you know they try their best um there are supervisors that are really good like they're really nice like our boss mark he's amazing like i yeah, work for great. him for the next 20 years if I have to. Like I would literally work for him at any any time, any day. Yeah, he really he really tries the best he can to make everyone happy. Yeah. You know? And he tries to give everyone what he can within reason. So Yeah. He's the yeah, reason why awesome. we work hard too. Like yeah. every night. Because we, we just love him so much that we wanna make him happy. We wanna make him impress we wanna impress him. We wanna make him happy and you know with all of that so that's what we always want to put in our work because he's a good 100%. boss 100 yeah. percent. that's awesome yeah. uh, i'm glad you guys are honestly in a good state right now and i'm glad you guys are got this 10-year plan going so i'm excited to see what year we're gonna be on the 10-year plan 10 years of home oh, yeah. what year are we on next year for that this year for me will together it will be our second year so still have a long way to go yeah oh. Third year. It's our third year because it's the second year this year. No matter what, though, we'll, we'll forever, our souls will be stuck in DC. Yeah. That's not a bad place to be because that's one of my favorite comic book companies. So, uh, <laughs> this year, uh, I actually asked Mark uh, for um, what is it? Uh, he let me, he let me uh, ask and queenie to marry me in DC. Hi, yeah. that will forever be memorable for you both of you right oh yeah that was great everything went perfect too so getting proposed no 
getting proposed at at DC Universe as in our clown prosthetics was definitely a giant like memory for sure. And oh yeah, yeah. So it was perfect. It was la it was Halloween. It was the last day. It was like, and everyone yeah, was yeah. so happy. <laughs> It was it was slow that night too, so I made sure it wasn't interrupting Freight Fest. So that's good. That's good. it all worked out. No, nah, you guys. I mean, you guys had a great season this year, and you guys deserved the most. So why not have a little fun at the end, right? Right. Okay. That's Definitely. Right. That's Go end it with the bam for sure. Bam. The bam. 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 End it with bam. The bam. 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 For those who are interested in following you guys, your character accounts year round, like where can they find you guys on on social media? Uh, I have Instagram, uh, frightfest underscore bam bam. Uh, I have TikTok, but I don't really use it. So <laughs> if you find it, you find it. Yeah, frightfest underscore queenie, um, both on Instagram and on TikTok, and then also stay tuned because I think. We're trying, we're probably going to try being vloggers or something. We're going to try to vlog, like, oh. our, <laughs> we'll try to vlog. I mean, I had this idea, like, maybe we could vlog, like, our slider sessions someday, like, the, maybe within the next year. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're trying to do that, you know, so. If you like slider content, stay tuned on the channel. because like Slider content, I hopefully. Some, like, you get something. to see us from, from the beginning. I got something <laughs> like, in the works coming up in the form of a documentary that I'm announcing right now. Can't announce what it is. Can't announce who I'm working with, but it's gonna be a banger when it comes out. I promise you. All right. All right. It's gonna be fun. I mean, especially for those who love sliding. This is catered to you guys. Oh, sliding's the best. Yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna finally get into it after all these years. I, I got everything that I need, so it's time to train. Hell yeah! I got just. It's the, so I got, fun. I got just the guy and and the woman to train me. So. There we go. It's go time. It is go time. But you guys, thank you guys so much for everything you guys brought to the table this season. Um, oh, no. That incredible, incredible run. You guys did amazing. Thank so, you so thank much. Thank you. Honestly, thank you. So much. Thank you. Yeah, it means a lot to us. <laughs> All the way around. No, you guys brought it, brought your A game this season, and it was great to be there as a guest. So thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate it, and uh, – can't wait to see what comes in 2023. Oh, it's going to be amazing for sure. It's going to be bigger than this year. I mean, there's a lot <laughs> yeah. going on in 2023. We also got to we also got to turn down the 5 freeway cuz someone's celebrating the 50th anniversary that year. I, I know. You know, and then we know, know this is probably going to be one of their biggest years in a long time, so we'll see what happens. I know. We will see what happens. And unfortunately, it's going to be our 30th year, so and we're so scary. torn. Yeah, cuz we had our uh, we're not scary farm friends telling me and ben come to not scary farm it's our 50th and we're just like it's our 30th <laughs> wonder, so it's like uh, oh no i wonder what's gonna i wonder if six flags will do anything special for the 30th it should be fun find out hopefully it better be a slider, be a slider show we shall, we shall find out fairly slider later show. in the next year and a slider show sliders reunite comes back hopefully knocking on wood here <laughs> But uh, with all that being said, uh, I hope you guys uh, have a great, long, beautiful career together. Um, you guys deserve it, and yeah. uh, we'll be we'll be waiting in the fog for you guys because uh, we never left. We're just waiting for you guys to come right. back in. We're right here, and we're uh, gonna keep going. There it is. There it is. I'm always I'm always in the fog. <laughs> we're always always in the fog. Always yeah. a fog machine puts in yeah. your. <laughs> yeah, yeah for real no that's, that's uh, yeah um for those of you guys new watching the channel thank you guys so much for supporting the channel if you guys are new to the channel hit that like button that subscribe button with that bell notification be where every time we put up a new video also leave some comments down for queenie and bam bam show them how much subscribe you, love to him. you better subscribe and you subscribe better hit that like button and ring the bell while you're at it <laughs> hey i mean if you guys that that like button I'm just saying, if you guys are trying to go down the vlogging game, you guys are pretty good right there. So that, that's like a <laughs> job right there. Um, you guys got it. You guys got it. Uh, we got it. We got it. it only if you subscribe. I'll, I'll subscribe. Shit, you sent me a link. <laughs> no, no, no. We're saying we got the job, but only if the viewers subscribe to you. If they subscribe. Okay. Subscribe to him. Support. Amazing hot content right here. Oh, my favorite. 
I love doing it every single year. One of my favorite things to do. It is stressful <laughs> at times, but you know what? I love it. And I well, we appreciate you for having us. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for being part of Good Scare Actor you. Appreciation Month 2022. This has uh, oh, been a fun oh, for us. It's Just awesome. I love it. Thank you so much. So if you guys uh, want to go follow us uh, even further on, on social media and whatnot, we have a few things you can check out. Knights of Horror on Twitter and at The Knights of Horror on Instagram and TikTok. And go check out Knights of Horror Gaming on Twitch because we just launched that and we are having a lot of fun with it. And, yeah, we're going to be playing a lot of NW2, a lot of horror games, a lot of – you name it, we'll probably play it. Um, and if there's no – oh, yeah, and go check out our merch website. we got a bunch, a bunch of new merch out, especially with Scare Actor Appreciation Ooh. Month 2022 uh, out right now. So go check that out. Uh, links are all in the description below. But if nothing else, I'm your host, Anthony. I got Queenie. I got Bam Bam. We got the Six Flags Fright Fest podcast right here. And we will see you guys tomorrow for a new episode.